Okay, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I know this is a little different setup than usual, but I just really felt like I needed to come on here and talk to you guys because it's been a long time. So, um, I get questions all the time and I know I've answered a lot of these questions before, but I'm going to answer some questions about the entertainment industry that I know of, like influencer agents, do I know how to speak? The influencer market and that part of entertainment and also the acting side too, which I don't share a lot with you guys just because it's very private and personal to me and very special to me, but I'm gonna share some stuff today. So for those people who wanna be an influencer, I've said this a hundred times, I'm gonna say it a hundred more times, you need to be consistent. You need to find what it is that you like to do. It doesn't mean that you can't change it. At some point if you decide like, yeah, you know what? I wanna go from fashion to cooking or I wanna go from cooking to whatever the fuck, working out or working out to gardening or whatever it is. Like you can post multiple things, but you need to have a niche of whatever it is that you wanna do and then post a lot. So when I first started my page, it was one niche and then it moved into a different niche and now it is on a completely different niche. And that's my point of saying, it's not that you can't change. It's just saying that you have to find what it is, rock with it for a bit and then change it. If you, that's what you wanna do. Secondly, just make sure that you engage with people if you really wanna grow your audience. Like do the things that are going to attract more people to your page. So like at, do polls, ask questions, post quizzes, post whatever the fuck it is. Like do things that will engage people. You don't have to respond to every single comment, but do stuff that will engage people. If you post something, put the caption and you can say something cute and then say, what do you guys think of it or whatever. That engages people. So I say all that to say like, I get asked these questions all the time. I go through my DMs all the time and it's always, how do you do it? How do you become this? How do you become this? Honestly, consistency is key with anything you wanna do in life. You think that the, all these people that became professional athletes were, weren't consistent with working out? Yes, they were. So anything that you do, just be consistent. So for me, I was very consistent in the beginning. That's how my following got built up very quickly and that's how I got here. So it's the same thing in anything that you want to do. If you want to be a rapper, instead of spending your time out in the streets, spend your time in a studio. If you want to be a model, then spend your time figuring out which agencies you want to, you want to work with, figuring out what, you know, pictures best suit your type and whatever, and then go work on that. Don't spend your time doing shit you shouldn't be doing. Like you have to find the priorities and go from there, period. I say that all the time. If it's not making me money, I'm not doing it. I don't go out for fun. I don't do any of that shit because it's not fun to me because that's not what I actually want to be doing. So for me, now kind of transitioning, hold on. Before I transition, it's the same thing with an influencer. If you want to be an influencer, then you need to spend a lot of your time making content. Like even if you start in the beginning making content for nothing, meaning for free, then that's what you're going to have to do in order to get to a certain place where you're gonna start making money. That's just part of paying your dues. So that's the same thing in the acting industry. Like you're not gonna turn around tomorrow and go be Angelina Jolie, Meryl Streep, Denzel Washington. That's not gonna happen. You have to take classes, be consistent. Like don't take one class and think that you're all of a sudden gonna be the biggest movie star of all time. That's not how it works. You need to go take multiple classes, be consistent. Like, and if you don't like it, let me just say this, hold on. I need to say this for the person in the back. So come a little closer, come a little closer, come here. If you start doing something and you realize you don't like it, don't fucking do it, period. Don't do it. Because why do you want to invest in something that you don't want to do, that you don't enjoy? Why do you want to do that? For what? Because hmm? it's cute? Because it's the hot thing to do? Fuck that. Find something you actually love with your entire being and do it. Don't do shit just for the money because you're not going to be fulfilled. All the money in the world cannot make you happy. All the money in the world cannot bring you fucking peace and contentment. It just can't. So find the thing that makes your soul set on fire and do that. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Now back to what I was saying. So if you want to do any of these things, you need to do that. Like if you, let's say you want to act. 
Go research acting schools, figure out which one you want to go to, figure out the type of acting that you want to do because there are plenty of different types of acting. Figure out all of those things and then go try the school. If you don't like the school, you don't like the teacher, you don't like whatever it is, go to a different fucking school. Because the thing is, is you're paying to be there. So you need to enjoy it. And if you get there and you're like, I don't motherfucking want to do this, don't do it. If you go into a studio and you start singing and say, oh my God, I can't do it. Don't fucking do it. Like, period. Go find something you enjoy. I don't give a fuck if you figure out you want to go be a fucking park ranger. Go be a fucking park ranger. Like, it's just, I don't know why I'm ranting about this. I don't know why I felt the need in my spirit. Like, I needed to come rant to you people about this. But I just wanted to, to do that. But on the flip side of saying don't do the things you shouldn't do, this is also a sign for you. I don't know who needs to hear this. But if you are in a job that you fucking hate, you're working a nine to five corporate America, whatever the fuck it is that you're doing and you hate it and you have dreams of doing something else. I don't care if it's being a nail tech, a fucking, I don't give a fuck what it is. If you have dreams to do something, go do it. We live on this earth one time, one time. Why would you want to spend it doing anything besides the thing that you know in your heart you want to do? Why? For what? You don't want to wake up when you're 70 years old and say, oh my God, I wasted 70 years of my life not doing anything that I want to do. I should have tried this shit when I was fucking 25, 30, 40, 50, however fucking old. I should have tried this shit. That's what you need to do. Look at all these people who literally were told their shit would never make it. And they made it. I don't care if your family tells you not to do it. I don't give a fuck if your spouse tells you not to do it. I don't give a fuck who tells you not to do it. If you feel like in your spirit you need to go do it, then go do it. J.K. Rowling was literally told that Harry Potter was stupid and nobody would ever pick that book up. Now look at her. Sis is a whole billionaire. Jeff Bezos. Oh, Amazon is stupid. That's not going to work. Now look at him. Whole billionaire. Like, not saying it's all about the money, but when you believe in yourself and you believe in what you want to do and you take the chance and go do it, it's going to pay off. That's the thing. Period. Period. God respects when you're obedient and you try hard. That's what it is. I don't know why I'm ranting to y'all about this right now, but I just felt like people really needed to hear this. But anyways, I don't care if you want to start a clothing. Like I started this clothing company by myself. Never had anybody on this earth give me one other dime to put into this. I've put every single piece of work into it, piece of money, everything, time, energy, everything, all me. I pack up every single package. I do all of the, all of the fucking searching for new product. I, I fucking design everything that needs to be changed. All of that. I send everything out. I pay for everything. I do everything. Nobody had to tell me to do that. I knew in my heart years ago, this is what I wanted to have. And I did it. And is it hard work? Fuck yes. Is it a lot of money? Fuck yes. But is it worth it to know that I believed in myself to the point that I did it and I make women across the world feel beautiful because I believed in what I did and I believed in the message that I had behind this clothing company? Yes. It's so worth it. It makes every, every other thing that I've done, all the money, all the time and the energy and the effort and everything that I've spent on it, so worth it. And that's how you need to feel about what you do, period. So I don't know who needed to hear this, to stop doing what you don't want to be doing or to go do what you want to be doing. I don't know who needed to hear this shit, but go do it, okay? I know this is all over the place, but somebody's going to get something out of this, okay? All right, I love you guys. I'll be back soon. We're going to have more videos like this, but I love you guys so much. And just sending all my love, sending all my encouragement for the people who need it, okay? I love you guys.